Hi, you. Yes, you. You have tuned in into the right channel at the right time. Today, I am going to bring you for a tour to my father's garden. Come, let's go. This is his vineyard. May you enjoy the tour. In the ancient Israel, grape vines are everywhere. It is no surprise in John chapter 15, the vine and the branches are used to depict the relationship between God and His people. It emphasizes complete dependence and the need for constant connection of the branches with the main vine. From planting to harvest to bottle, vine making is a long, slow process. I can relate my life as a Christian to this process. Starting with planting, it reminds me the parable of the sower in Matthew chapter 13, the type of soil or the condition of our hearts in responding to the gospel. Move forward, when the vine reached its dormancy, no foliage above ground at all, but the roots have dug deep into the soil and are feeding on the nutrients needed to produce fruit. This is the time for pruning, to allow room for new growth. This is exactly what was written in John chapter 15 verse 2. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. God the Father, through His loving discipline, removes things from our lives that do not contribute to our spiritual fruitfulness. God may prune us through conviction or circumstances. If you are in this season, feeling some pain and struggles, rest assured that it is for a greater purpose. Hang on there! When vines emerge from dormancy, bud break and shoots grow, it then further swell into flowers and set. When receiving lots of sunlight, the magical moment happens when the fruit changes color as an indication it has ripened and head on to the time for a bountiful harvest. I hope you have enjoyed the short lesson of the life cycle of a wine grape and able to identify your own season or stage. With the passing of each event announces the beginning of a new stage. New growth is inevitable after the pruning stage. Many of us tend to focus so much on the pruning process but forgot to put our energy to prepare for the anticipated new growth. During this season, we can use this opportunity to remove distractions that will allow for new growth in our lives and in our relationship with God. I agree that the uncertainty of these times can be anxiety inducing, but it's important to remember that we might be in this for a long haul and wear us out. What's the preparation? What's the remedy? I draw you back to the gist of today's text, quoting from John chapter 15. Remain connected to the true wine and wait for the fruit that glorifies our Father in heaven. Let us all rise to the occasion and use this pandemic as an opportunity to allow the unshakable things to remain in our lives. We will come out of this better than before. We will come out of this season closer to God, closer to our goals, and closer to the purposes God has for us. Cheers and Amen.